Hi guys, welcome back to Upload Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock your Ryzen 5000 CPU in a little more efficient way where you don't have to go messing with a lot of settings. You just kind of let the CPU do it by itself. So we want to start in the Extreme Tweaker and this is an Asus. Go to DOCP standard so you can have your RAM settings uh, input from XMP and then you want to change the FCLK to match the 1 to 1 ratio with your memory speed, so in this case 1800. And uh, next thing we're going to go to is Precision Boot Overdrive and we're going to turn on the Precision Boot Overdrive. And then we're also going to go back and turn on the FMAX Enhancer to stabilize the course. And obviously we're going to give it the extra 200, 200 MHz limit. Uh, and we're going to double check the RAM timings, make sure everything is good. Uh, in this case, I just leave them alone, but you can tweak them later using the Ryzen DRAM calculator. And uh, in the power controls, we're going to go ahead and uh, do a low line cal calibration to level 4 just to stabilize the voltage and uh, have a less speed droop, and then also give the CPU more current. And then we're also going to stabilize a little more on the power phase by choosing extreme and go back one level. And then finally, we're going to give our SOC 1.1 voltage uh, because we're using four DIMMs. You usually want to stabilize them by giving just a little bit more voltage. And then we're just going to boost it up to 1.40. You can even go to 1.5. It's safe for DDR4, but 1.4 is sufficient for my uh, motherboard. Now we're going to get to the actual stuff here. Go to Advanced. Go all the way down to AMD Overclocking. And then accept the disclosure. And finally, we're actually going to go down to Precision Boost Overdrive again in this menu, and we're going to change it. Now, if you change it enabled, nothing happens. So you have to change it to Advanced. This is where the extra stuff appears. Um, the, and the Curve Optimizer is the new thing they added in this Beta BIOS. So it's, it's just an amazing tool. So change the Boost Clock Override to 200 MHz, and then go into the Curve Optimizer. You want to enable it per core, and then change all the curve optimizer signs to negative, and then we're also going to change the magnitude to 15. Uh, it just allows the core to come down a little bit um, so the computer doesn't crash. But uh, people have used 15, it's more stable. Uh, you can even try 5, and then it'll give you a little bit of extra boost on the cores, hold it longer, but this is it. That's all you have to do, go back save your settings, you know, edit the other stuff like SATA and uh, boot logo and all that good stuff.